Hey everyone, it's Anna from the Four Real YouTube channel. Today we're diving into a common issue, how to clear a bad ESN or blacklisted IMEI from your phone. If you've been struggling with a blacklisted device, you might have come across various services and software that promise to fix it for a fee. But hold on, there's a better, safer, and free way to get your phone back in action. Stick around, and I'll show you multiple methods that work on any Apple and Android phone, including Samsung and more. Let's get started. Remember, this info is for responsible use only. It's for people who own their device but forgot their access info. We don't support or encourage illegal actions like bypassing security on stolen devices. Please respect the law and others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's guidelines and community standards. Now let's get started. Now let's talk about some of the services out there for removing a bad ESN or blacklisted IMEI. You've probably come across a few options, but it's important to find ones that are reliable and actually work. First up, we have Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. It's the best, free, most up-to-date, and fastest way to get your phone back in action. Then there's Safe Unlocks, which has a long history of providing great service and only costs a dollar. Finally, ESN Doctor specializes in IMEI blacklist removal and is another solid choice. Each of these services has its strengths, so you're sure to find one that suits your needs. Now, let's move on to using Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant to help remove the blacklist from your device. Now, to get started, go to your browser on your phone or computer and visit unlockhere.com. This will take you to the website to remove the blacklist from your IMEI. You'll be greeted by Nifty, the AI-powered tool developed by the Unlock Here team. Scroll down a little and choose the Fix IMEI Blacklist option. Now follow the steps on the app. Start by selecting the brand of your device. The app supports all major and medium-sized brands. Select yours and click the Next button. Enter your IMEI or serial number. If you need help finding your IMEI, go to your phone's dial pad and press asterisk hash 06 hash. This will display a pop-up with your device's IMEI number. Provide a point of contact with your name and email address. Make sure to comply with the terms and conditions of the app. If you have any questions, check the resources for more information. Once your request is processed, you'll receive an email with the unlock details. This email typically arrives in 5-15 minutes. Check your spam or promotions folder if you don't see it in your inbox. To confirm your order and activate it, copy the verification code from the email. Click Confirm My Order. Paste the code on the page. Complete the CAPTCHA and click Validate Info and Start Unlock. Nifty will now finalize the unlocking process. And that's it. Nifty, the AI-powered tool, does the heavy lifting from here. The final step is to simply insert a compatible SIM card and restart your device. This process is just a few steps, and before you know it, you'll have successfully removed the blacklist IMEI from your device using unlockhere.com. If you encounter any issues, you can chat with our live support for assistance. You need to know that these unlock services only work in first world countries. If you can't access the services or don't want to use them, we offer 250 unlocks every week for our viewers. To enter, simply like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment with your phone model, your IMEI, and your country. Once these steps are completed, you are automatically entered. All right, guys, here are some more alternative ways to remove an IMEI blacklist from your device. First up, contact the carrier. Reach out to the carrier that blacklisted your phone. Explain your situation and see if they can help remove the blacklist. Sometimes a simple call can resolve the issue. Next, provide proof of ownership. Show the carrier or authority that blacklisted your IMEI that you are the legitimate owner. This could be a receipt or any document proving you bought the device. If your device was reported lost or stolen and you've recovered it, inform the carrier. This is called report resolution. Let them know you have the device back and they might take it off the blacklist. Another tip is to check the IMEI status regularly. Blacklists are updated and sometimes devices get removed for various reasons. Use online IMEI status checkers to keep an eye on your device's status. Lastly, if all else fails, consider legal action. If your device was wrongfully blacklisted and you can't get it resolved through the carrier, consult a legal professional. This should be a last resort due to potential costs and time involved. Thanks for watching. If this worked for you or if you have any other questions, 
please leave a comment below. Remember, these unlock services only work in first world countries. If you can't access the services or don't want to use them, we offer 250 unlocks every week for our viewers. To enter, simply like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment with your phone model, your IMEI, and your country. You'll be automatically entered once these steps are completed. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.